Back on the smashing bridge. You've got to be on the other side before that happens. Me too. You stay here and guard that prison. Come on, Trigg. Only a chip of rock, I reckon. Better get back to the rock. No, I'm still drawing cards in this game. Man. No, no, Lucy, Lucy, you couldn't help them, and you would only get killed. Kentucky, Trigger! You want me to come down for you? We're all right. But watch a gunman across the canyon. Oh, Mike, they're alive. Yes, they're alive. So far. I think I can make that ledge below. If I miss, well, so long, Craig. Trigger. It's safe. Make a run for the bottom. Then we'll be out of range. Keep throwing that, boys. You can't let him get away, Mike. But I've got to stay with my friends, even if he run away two, three times. I'd sort of like to be shot at again so he'd know where them fellas are hiding. So would I, Trick. Four trails over this ridge. We can't watch them all. <laughs> Even if they do get across, they'll never find our hideout. They know we're holding Larry Monroe prisoner, and they'll keep hunting till they find him. Well, what are you going to do? If they were sure Larry Monroe wasn't in these hills, they'd turn around and go back, wouldn't they? Yeah, but they... I'm going to convince them Monroe's gone. Come on. Jake and go fetch me Monroe's coat, hat, and scarf. All right. Come on, Jake. Hey, Red. Come here. What do you want? Get fixed up to look like Monroe here. What's this all about? There's a fellow about your size going out of these here hills, but it ain't going to be you. Look, Kentuck, there's an old deserted shack down yonder. They're in plain sight, coming along the ridge. Reckon that's where they're holding the area? It seems to me they'd take a place less out in the open. You're right, Craig. There's, there's Larry now. They're getting away with it. We don't dare risk a shot for fear of hitting them. Dude. Not very much, just creased it a little. And talking? I think maybe you better take me outside and kick me pretty hard, eh? What for, Mike? What for? That fella Steve is our only clue to the man who's holding Larry, and I let him get away. Don't worry about that, Mike. He won't leave the country. 
Besides, this game is too big for him to quit now. What I don't understand is why they are holding Larry prisoner. Me too. There's only one answer to that. Larry knows something that they want to find out. What are these stones, Lucy? Oh, I don't know. I found them in an old coat of Larry's. I meant to throw them away. Did he ever do any prospecting that you know of? Well, he never said anything to me about it. Why? I was just wondering if... Dude. You stay here with Lucy. The rest of us are going into town to have a little talk with the sheriff. of yours has messed things up again. Meaning Steve. I heard all about it. And you didn't do so good yourself. Who says I didn't? I asked the questions around here. What about Monroe? He's safe in the hideout. But we couldn't get a word out of him about that platinum deposit. Did you tell him it was platinum? Certainly not. But he knows it's valuable. Where Kentucky Wade and his friend? They're right behind you, Keeler. While they're away from the Circle D, is our time to strike. You want to use my Indian friends again, eh? You guessed it. Well, it may not be so easy this time. They're beginning to balk about fighting someone else's battles. You can handle them all right, Buckskin. That's why you're so valuable to me. Thanks, Peter. We found out something that might interest you, Sheriff. Steve Claggett is a member of the outlaw gang that's holding Larry Monroe prisoner. Steve Claggett? Are you sure? We made him admit it and agreed to lead us to the hideout. But before we got in there, he got away from us. Looks like the only way for me to find Larry is to round up Steve. I'm ready to swear out a warrant for him, Sheriff. I reckon it'll be pretty hard to find, so long as you boys are in the district. How are you, Sheriff? Well, I didn't expect to find you all here. Here's an affidavit that clears Larry Monroe of that murder charge. Now you don't need to bother looking for him. You're not going anywhere for quite a while, Claggett. What do you mean? He doesn't want you to look for Larry, because he and his gang are holding him prisoner. I don't know what you're talking about, Kentucky. I'm charging you with the disappearance of Larry Monroe. Arrest him, Sheriff. I'll take your gun, Steve. I ain't aiming to be thrown in no calaboose. Let's find Judge Lawrence and get this settled right now. Suits me. Just so I'm going to the Silver Dollar as we rode into town. charge against them, demanding to be tried right away. Well, I see no irregularity in proceeding at once. Hear ye, hear ye, hear ye. This bar is now closed, and I declare this court officially open. Uh, what's the charge? I don't know how to express it legally, Judge, but we know that Steve Claggett here is mixed up in the disappearance of Larry Monroe. Why, that's complicity in a kidnapping. Is that your charge? That seems to cover it, sir. Swear the witness. Hold up your right hand. You swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? I do. What do you know about this, Kentucky? Well, Your Honor, the three of us here corralled Steve, and he admitted that he could take us to the place they were holding Larry Monroe prisoner. Is that true, Steve? Sure, I told him that, Judge. They had a gun on me. I'd have told him anything to save my life. You mean they threatened you? They sure did, Your Honor. I don't know anything about Larry Monroe. 
All I could do was lead him around until I had a chance to make a getaway. Is that true, Kentucky? Did you threaten this man's life? Well, Your Honor, I, I reckon we did, but we didn't mean to kill him. We only... Why, that's coercion. Case is dismissed. Release the prisoner, Sheriff. This court's adjourned. Drinks are on me, boys. Cut him up, Dan. Howdy, boys. Sorry to see your case thrown out on a technicality. I've had my suspicions about that fellow Claggett for some time. We've got more than suspicions, Mr. Keeler. Come on, boys. Let's get back to the ranch. Before you go, I want you to know that my interest in this matter goes further than mere words. Larry Monroe is the type of rancher we need in this valley. I'm doing all one man can to see that he comes back safely. I might like to read that article. If you'll excuse me a moment, I'll be back before we finish it. Can you beat that? He's offering $500 reward for information about the men who kidnapped Larry Monroe. He's not a bad fellow, this senor killer, huh? See that Wade and his friends don't get back to the Monroe ranch today. Redheaded men are going to raid it. All right. That's mighty generous of you, Mr. Keeler. Oh, it's not generous at all. The least I can do is see that honest folk in this valley get an even break. Thank you again for Larry and his sister. Uh, won't you have a little... Uh... No, thanks. We've got to be going. We've got a lot to do. Talk same as white man. I have message for your ears alone. Speak, Buckskin. What do you want? The white chief wants your warriors to attack the Monroe Ranch. All my warriors on buffalo hunt, except these. The white chief promises many rifles if you do what he wants. It shall be done. Take these warriors. I will send smoke signals. To the others. Ah, oh, how? Who will? 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 Who Give him a hand. You bet you my life. Fall for it. Here it comes.
get your partner? No, we got you. Don't reach for anything. Keep them covered, Bill, till we get their guns. I'm cashing in. Now, don't talk that way. We'll get you into Brimstone and have a doctor fix you up. Thanks. I'd never make it. But I can trade you even for trying to be white. You boys better hightail it to Monroe's ranch. Proto. The ranch. Dude is there with Lucy. And dude's gun arms busted. Hit your saddle. Get that man to Brimstone, quick. Get through to the ranch. 